What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and I'm back for some more World of Warcraft slash Esperanto lessons. Now today I actually do have the flu, so I'm not feeling the best. My voice is probably a bit crappy, so please just ignore that. Now, also, um, I didn't bring out a video in the last few days because I was just having some fun with Duolingo and a few other things, so, you know, I kind of got distracted. Please don't kill me. Okay, so we're going to head down south towards this location, the War Chief's Command, and I guess we'll just do stuff along the way. So first up, some revision. Now let's find the best way out of here, actually. So for the revision, what is the word for water? It is akvo. Akvo. And what is the word for a school of fish? It is fishado. Fishado. And by the way, last time in my previous lesson, I noticed this after I um, finished recording and editing everything, uh, this was called... I called this a crocodile, so crocodilo, but it's actually, if you look at it closely, called Basilis, or Basilis, and um, that's actually a real mythological uh, creature, so it's existed within history and stuff like that, so I went and looked up the name for it, because I didn't know the name for it in Esperanto, but it turns out that the name for a Basilis is Basilisco, Basilisco, so we're going to start using that now on whenever we see Basilis. Um, because we might as well learn real words while we're at it and try and associate them as closely as possible to the things we're seeing. So what's the word for basilisk? It is basilisko. Basilisko. Okay, so let's just kill this basilisko in front of me. Come on, get out of my way. And what was the word for object? It is objecto. Objecto. And do you remember the word for path? It is voyo. Voyo. And do you remember the word for shrubbery? Because we've got a fair bit of it around us at the moment. It is arbusto. Arbusto. And again, what is the word for basilisk? It is basilisco. Basilisco. And how do you say, describe the basilisk? Kia estas la basilisco? Kia estas la basilisco? And how do you say, ooh, what have I found? That looks pretty cool. Ah, oh, my inventory is full. I really need to get to a new location so I can start selling some of this stuff. Okay, and what was the word for in? So, for instance, in the house. How do you say in the house? En la domo. And what was the word for table? It is tablo. Now, I'm going to teach you probably the final pronouns that exist in Esperanto, par one. And we're going to start with the first with the... Well, we're going to start with the pronoun it first. So, the pronoun for it is G. G. And, ooh, so we've got a moose hoof stag. So that looks like either a moose or a deer. I'm, I'll, you know, I'll teach you the word for both. So the word for deer in Esperanto is tsertevo, tsertevo. But the word for moose is alco, alco. But I'm going to refer to these as deers now, because fr from memory, mooses are more like like big and built type of thing, you know, like thinner legs, bigger bodies and stuff. So I'm just going to call those deers. So the word for deer is tsertevo. So how would you say it is a deer? G estas tsertevo. G estas tsertevo. Now, in Esperanto, when you're using the pronoun it, it is slightly different to its usage in English. So, for instance, when you're referring to an animal, you almost always use G for uh, the animal. So you'd say, it is an animal. Now, in English, sometimes we, we might um, very rarely say he or she, stuff like that. Um, I guess it's kind of the same as Esperanto. If you really need to specify like an animal's gender, you can use uh, a li au shi, so he or she. But yeah, most of the time you just say G. Now, another, the point where it is probably most different to English is when we're referring to young, like really young children, like babies and stuff. In English, you'd never call a baby it. That would be a massive insult to a mother if you said, oh, it's so beautiful type of thing. That'd be like, 
It's not an it. But in Esperanto, we do. We actually refer to babies as G. So just, um, I don't know exactly where the crossover point is where you stop saying it um, and you start saying he or she. I guess it's just, you know, once it reaches walking stages or something, you might start using Li or she. But yeah, for babies, it is uh, G. So, next one. I taught you this one kind of randomly at one point, um, and then I never referred to it again. So the word for us is ni, ni. And while I'm at it, I'm going to teach you the word for they. So the word for they is ili, ili. Now, when you use um, us or they in Esperanto, everything, like any descriptive words that you use with it that comes after that, that becomes plural, okay? So for instance, I'm just going to pick up all these quests and I'll give you an example. So... Okay, so to give you an example of this, let's just have a look at these two. So we've got these two here. So if we want to say he is beautiful or handsome, because beautiful and handsome is the same word in Esperanto, you'd say li estas bella. But if you want to say they are beautiful, you'd say ili estas bellae. And if you wanted to say we are beautiful, you'd say ni estas bellae. So they and ni, oh sorry, they and us, is automatically plural in Esperanto, so just watch out for that because we don't have that in English. Now that I've got that, let's see what I've got to do here. So I've got to, uh, basically it looks like kill a bunch of things. Okay, cool, I can do that. So let's just head down here. Okay, what do we got? So we've got the deer here, so let's start off this, this lovely deer. And what was the word for deer again? It was turtle. Turtle. So let's just kill the tsurvo. And how would you say it is a tsurvo? Ooh, I actually, before I start on this quest, I've got to empty my inventory because I've got no room. So let's just quickly find someone where I can empty this. So, and you know what? We should learn the word for like this uh, bag space as well. So a bag is um, sako in Esperanto. Sako. Oh my god, do I have to go all the way into the city to empty my bags? There's got to be someone around here. Ugh. Okay, and we're back. So that took me like friggin' 10 minutes to get all the way down there to find a shopkeeper to finally sell all my stuff so I can continue on doing my quests. Okay, so let's just begin, uh, well not begin, but like just have a little bit of revision because I kind of forgot where we're up to. So what is the word again for deer? It is turtle, turtle. And do you remember the word for uh, moose? It is alco, alco. Cool, so we're going to pick that up. Now, how would you say it is a moose? You'd say G estas alco. G estas alco. And how would you say again it is a deer? G estas cervo. G estas cervo. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to do possession with um, pronouns. But the way to say um, my deer, as in like the animal itself, not like my companion. You'd say mia tervo, mia tervo, and to say um, his deer, you'd say lia tervo, lia tervo. So you hear how li becomes lia and mi becomes mia. That's because what you do is you basically tack on an adjective on the end of the pronoun. So how would you say my basilisk? Mia basilisko. Mia basil, mia basilisco. And how would you say her basilisk? Shia basilisco, shia basilisco. And how would you say um, his basilisk is there? Lia basilisco estas tie. And how would you say? Her basilisk is here, and that basilisk is like on a freaking 90 degree angle. Shia basilisko estas chitie. Or again, you could say, oh, what's happened with this dude? Mountaineer, um, petrified by the basilisk. Okay. Okay. So we've learned the basic pronouns and how to turn those into possessives. So let's learn a few other words, shall we? So the word without is sen, sen. So if you wanted to say, um, I'm here without my friend, 
the word for friend is amico, amico. You'd say, mi estas ci tie sen mia amico. So, mi estas ci tie sen mia amico. So, how would you say, I'm here uh, without her friend? Mi estas ci tie sen shia amico. Mi estas ci tie sen shia amico. And how would you say the, basil uh, the basilisk is here without his friend? Let's see if how good your Esperanto is. You're probably thinking that it would be la basilisco estas ci tie send Lia Amico. That's actually incorrect. Now, there is a pronoun in Esperanto which refers back to the subject pronoun, okay? So, oh crap, I just attacked both. So, that pronoun is C, or when it's in a, a possessive form, Sia. Okay? Now, how it works is when you're talking about he, uh, she, they, you can use C, and when I mean you can use C, it's like, the best way to see this is, if I say Li Amas Sin, it means he loves him, and then referring back to himself. But if you say Li Amas Lin, it means he loves he, as in like another he, not himself. So that's why it exists in Esperanto, but you can't use it with me, because there is no other me. You can't use it with us, because there is no other... Um, us basically because I'm included in this but you can use it with they because there could be multiple they's um, you can use it with her because there can be multiple hers or him so yeah how would you and also with random things like basilisks and stuff like that because there can be more than one other so okay so if you wanted to say the basilisk loves itself you'd say la basilisco amasin but if you wanted to say the basilisk loves basilisks in general you could say La, bas uh, la basilisco amas basiliscoin. So, how would you la say she loves herself? She amas sin. And how would you say she loves her? She amas shin. And how would you say he loves um, him? Li amas lin. And how would you say uh, he loves uh, himself? Li amas sin. And how would you say I love myself? Mi amas min. And I don't know why I'm actually killing all these bastards. I just got something against them. I'm not here to really kill them, am I? No, I'm not. I've just decided to randomly kill them. Okay, let's just head back down this way and kill things I'm meant to be killing. Or am I? Wait. Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, I'm here to kill deers. So what was the word for deer again? It was tsurvo. Tsurvo. Okay, and how do you say um, I am without my friend? So I'm here without my friend, for instance. Mi estas chitie sen mia amico. Mi estas chitie Sen mia amico. And how would you say my basilisk? Mia basilisco. Mia basilisco. What is that? Can I jump on this? <laughs> I am the shredder of death. Anyway, we've pretty much reached the end of this lesson, so let's just do some practicing um, of what we've learned so far. So, what's the word for deer? I don't know why I'm on that. I just wanted to have some fun. So the word for deer is servo. And what was the word for moose? It was alco. And how do you say without? You say sen. Sen. I'm actually being a little bit fast now. So how do you say deer? It was servo. And what was the word for a group of fish? It was fishado, fishado. And how would you say it is a deer? G estas servo, G estas servo. 
Let's just loot. Ooh, I can't even wear it. I keep picking up equipment I can't even use. It's so annoying. So how would you say um, it is shrubbery? G estas arbusto. And obviously if you wanted to imply that there's plural shrubbery, you could say G estas arbusto. Anyway, so I've reached the end of this lesson. Um, if you've liked this, give it a like. Share with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, well, I might set my basilisco on you. <laughs>